Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. We are, I guess, 72, maybe 50 odd hours away from Stellar Blade launching on the PS5. I will be there Friday evening. I'll be streaming it for a little while before Ball Busters over on Dermy Wormy's channel. Here's the thing though. We were promised a few short days ago that Stellar Blade will be uncensored for all regions. Now, to most of us, that means, oh, we're going to get that sweet, sweet booty. We're going to get Eve and all her jiggly, bouncy, gravity-defying glory and probably a lot of various other things. Well, it seems that that is essentially, technically, a lie. No, we are not going to be Eve censored, but there is apparently going to be pre-censorship to the game. What am I talking about? News of the day. Stellar Blade hard R shop imagery will be removed by Sony. Today is Stellar Blade review day where all the fake gamers, all the game journalists get to post their takes on the game, which we all summarily ignore and go play for ourselves. But they found this, and they were all eagerly awaiting to manufacture fake news so that they can be they can find some sort of significance in their sad little lives. The hard R shop. If you are a gamer, <laughs> you are any sort of internet dweller, you know what a hard R word is. We also call them gamer word or gamer words, things associated with it. This is meaningless. It's nothing but the fake journalists, the virtue signalers, the woke brigade. They, of course, have said, oh, it's my racism. It's my racism. It's my hatred towards the black people. This is bullshit. Plain and simple. These are people who don't care about the game. They care about virtue signaling. So now that they've whined and complained about it, unfortunately, Sony will pressure to make it removed in the upcoming day one patch. Is this censorship? Yes. Plain and simple. This is removing something that is not a problem means nothing because apparently this character or this R stands for a character in the game who will sell you shit throughout the game and somebody just put the hard next to it frankly it's funny it's interesting and I would say this would have if it left in they say unintentional I think somebody who put it in here probably understands what a gamer word is and that gamers are we have fun with this type of stuff so it's not surprising that it might be in there but it's also not surprising that the fake fans, the fake gamers, the journos, these losers are going to protest this, and it's gone out. Now, is this going to break the game? That is the question. Does removal of this break the game? Likely not. But it is an unsettling precedent now set. What else may be changed? What else might they remove? Now, I, we are going to get Eve in all her bodacious glory, but... That still doesn't stop other games journals from whining and complaining about her oh so delicious revealing outfits. Games Radar Loser. Stellar Blade puts Eve in some incredibly stupid sexy outfits that hurt the game's story, but despite the forced sex appeal, I actually love her detailed design. Say you jerk off to her without saying you actually jerk off to her despite your virtue signaling white knighting for the woke agenda. Here's the thing. These people were perfectly happy to thirst beyond belief when it came to Baldur's Gate 3 one short year ago, where the vampire dude and everybody else, where everybody's just banging all over the place, whether it's with your NPCs or walking in on orcs effing cows, if I remember correctly, or if you're effing a bear. They love that because it fit into their weirdo-ass agenda where anything and everything could be effed six ways and sideways. But this, oh no. This is very hetero. This is bad. Can't have a jiggly, beautifully bodied woman worshipped and praised. No, no, we got to call it stupid. We got to be very aghast and clutch our pearls and whine and complain and then say, but we liked it anyway. This is why games journalists suck. They are worthless. They are empty. They look for things to make themselves relevant. When in fact they aren't. I bet this soy boy and every other soy boy and soy gal that touched this game for their reviews played it on the easiest mode possible. Me, myself, Friday night when we get started over on my gaming channel, Renaissance Third Arcade, 
Hardest difficulty out of the gate, baby. Hardest one I can put it on because I want the challenge. I want that challenge. And I haven't played the demo. I'm going in raw, baby. No fear of the unknown. <sighs> Stellar Blade is going to mark... Frankly, it's going to mark the, the, the change of the times. Will Sony bend the knee further and make changes to this game? Or will this right here be the one and only thing? Will gamers respond in mass and make this game a success because it is appealing on many levels from obviously visual, physical appearances of EVE to what is likely to be outstanding gameplay, graphics, and an all-around fun game? And will they reject the crap that comes out, the crap pushed by Sweet Baby Inc. and the Sweet Baby Inc. clones and all the ones that do the DEI, diversity, inclusion crap? The rejection of the diversity game is at hand. The re acceptance of let's get back to actual gaming is, a, is returning. And I think whether or not this turns out to be a portent for changes we don't want, Stellar Blade is the beginning of the end of the Virtue Signalers because they hold no water. They don't influence anybody because nobody listens to them. And the fake gamers, the fake people who will give this the hearts, the likes on the X Twitter or videos on YouTube, they don't actually play games. They are part of the hive mind. They're stands, they're fake fans, they're fake gamers. They have no power. They don't move the needle. The real gamers, we're going to go out there. I'm going to drop 70 bucks on this on Friday because I saved specifically to get this this month. And I'm going to support it if it's good. And I will talk about it if it's good, as will likely millions of other people. All right. I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube. I hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care. But whiny fan, Stan, and SJW Fifi's. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.